I was trying to remember which category I have not pursued yet. And I think there's two, and one of them is shot. So we're going to go with that one. I can't remember even what the other one is. All right, well, let's randomize our team here, and we land on the Ottawa Senators. All right. Neat. I wonder if they're going to have Tino Manny pre-installed. All right, let's see what pick I get. I'm going to say number eight. I don't know why. That's, you know, just a random guess, pretty much. And I was pretty close last time. Really? One off again. I almost want to say that that's more impressive, being one off both times, the last two. All right, who is gone already? Oh, I think I know who I'm going to pick. I'm pretty sure. And it's going to be, oh, Huberto, though. Huberto's so good. Man. No, but I, the person I was thinking of is Matthews. I think I'm going to go with Mr. Austin here. I didn't even actually look. How many five-star shooting players was there? Did it go off the first page? No, it does not. <laughs> no, it does not. We are already cut off there. Is is Olofsson a five-star? Oh, he is. You know what? That kind of makes sense, though. He does have a pretty good shot. Okay, so... Hmm. Who do we take? I'm really leaning towards Stone, but... Yeah, you know what? I am leaning towards Stone. I'm going to take him. So now there is three players that remain. Kessel, Olofsson, and Weber. And I kind of want to take Weber just to get a defenseman. I know Olofsson would complete that first line. Oh, I do want to try staying in the cap, though. And you know what? He does have only $3 million at 85. Weber might still be there next round because he's 35 years of age at 7.8. So you know what? Yeah, let's take... Weber has... Six years left, and he's 35? Okay, well, he's still here, so... Yeah, let's take him, I guess. It's gonna be pretty hard to be within the cap, but we'll try our best still. I wanna do it, okay? I wanna try and not go too far over the cap. I believe... No, we still have a five-star Phil Kessel. Okay, well, that's gonna be a decent cap hit, but... I mean, we don't really have a choice here, unless... I sort by defense specifically, because I am allowed to do that. So let's go to defenseman and see who's here. We can either take Bufflin or Burns. Both. Oh, man. Yeah, this cap thing, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm pretty sure we are just SOL on that. And there's not a single defenseman with... Oh, never mind. I was going to say four and a half. I'm looking at two of them. For some reason, I thought these guys were five. I'm like, really? There's no in-between left? I'm going to take Bufflin in hopes that we can, you know, sign him for cheaper than eight million. Or if we even need to sign him, I don't really know how it works. I feel like we can actually just get him at 700 for the first year. I still am really not sure. In more attempts to dodge Phil Kessel, I am going to take a goaltender and I'm going to take Hudobin. So there you go. I don't think we're going to be able to be within the cap. It's going to be way too difficult, honestly. But you know what? We are going to try our best still. I mean, we got Bouchard here. <laughs> 78 overall. Okay, well, I'm going to take Oscar. Oh, actually, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to take Schultz because, well, you know what? That extra... 170k isn't really going to do much. For some reason, I want to take Clef Bomb, so I'm going to do it. Kessel is still here. All right, you know what? Let's just let's just get him off the board. And Anders Lee is the only four and a half star left at 7 million bucks. All right. Let's check who's left for goalies. Maybe we get a backup. Pretty cheap here. Let's. I'm not taking... Lundqvist has defied me too many times. I can't trust that. You know what? Let's, let's go with DeSmith. I feel like I haven't really taken him before, so I want to see how he does, but Mike Smith, though. No, nah, I'm going to take Casey. Okay, well, I don't know if he's going to go anytime soon, but I don't think we really have a choice here. We're probably going to have to take him. Another power forward, so that's good. Hopefully, the chemistry ends up working out. Okay, we got a few players here that aren't making insane dollar amounts. Eric Stahl has four-star shooting, and he's only making 3.2. And then we also got Howla, who I could take... As a third-line centerman, is he a playmaker? Yes, he is. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to take Stahl for now, and then let's hope Howla's still there next round, and we can try to take him. Update. Still here. So, let's go ahead and draft Eric, and now we have our centerman for the third line. We just need the wingers and our fourth line, plus three more defensemen, so we actually still have quite a ways to go. I really don't think I would classify Corey Perry as a sniper. But that's just me. All right, Yarncrook only making 2 million. Bjugstad's there as well. But you know what? I'm going to take Yarncrook for now. So that's a left winger. And yeah, we're 
Shaping up pretty nice here. I never want to get my hopes up anymore, though, because every time I do, I'm like, oh, you know what? This team looks pretty decent. EA's like, <laughs> no, it's not. Let's see what's left for defensemen. So, ooh, half a star. That's not good. We got Brad Hunt. We got Goligoski. Ooh, Chara. We can take Chara now. I mean, he is 43. I feel like he fits into almost all of our drafts because no one takes the guy. Probably because he is 43 years old. But anyway, he's 84 overall. So, on that note, welcome to the team, Zedno. And yes, I know it's a Dano. Oh, it's going to be real tough to stay within the cap here. It's definitely not going to be easy. All right, well, I'll take Nick for now and hope that we can... I don't know. Have some of those guys taken? I don't think they will, though, because they're making quite a lot of money, and they're not incredible. Well, we have $17 million left on the cap space, and we've got five people left to draft. I, it's doable, but I don't know. Not with these guys left, I don't think. Well, obviously, I'm going to have to take Corey Perry, because, you know, that 750 probably, I think that's league minimum. I'm definitely down for that. All right, well, at six million, I'm gonna take Zook. And now we have 10 million left to work with. And we have, how many players do we have to pick left? We still gotta pick three more. So, we, I don't know. It's gonna be very tough with the forwards. I need to check the defense to see what's going on back there. Cap-wise, that is. All right, so. Oh, we, we definitely can get this done. Okay, for now, I'm going to take, I think, Kempney. And then... Ooh, Cody Cece as well. Sakara. There's a bunch here. I'm going to take Kempney for now. All right. And then we'll come back. Probably take another defenseman. And then we'll go back and draft our last forward. I don't know why that's the order I want to do things in. But that's how we're going to commence our draft. You know what? I'm going to take this Gustav Forsling guy. I don't even know why. But, you know, 700,000... Which I guess 750 is not league minimum then, but it's pretty damn close. Wow, we're actually going to pull it off. We got $7 million left to draft a right winger. And James the Real Deal Neal is the last one here. Let's see. He's a power forward as well. So that's... Yeah, I'm down. All right, we actually did it. We are in the cap. Well, I guess it kind of depends on what we have to sign Bufflin for. I'm not really sure how that works, but... Oh, no, 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 no. Whoops. Imagine I did that. I would have been so sad. Here is the overview of the Ottawa Senators draft here for the shooting category. So, yeah. Everyone here is, I guess, tied with or... Well, yeah, I guess basically tied with or better than everyone else that was in the draft at the time. According to EA, anyway, in the shooting category. Is Bufflin here? Yes, he is. All right, then I'm not going to do anything. I guess... We are in the cap, and that is the final answer. Okay, I'm not going to mess around with it too much. These are the lines I'm going for here. So, Lee Matthew Stone on the first line, Olafson Stoll and Neil line two, Howla Kessel Yarncrook on the third line, and then Zook, Bjugstad, and Corey Perry on the fourth. On defense, we've got Bufflin and Weber, Clefbaum, Chara, Kempney, Forsling, and Annette. We've got Dobby backed up by DeSmith. I feel like Dobby has let me down before, but I can't exactly remember. So let's find out. I'm going to say that Matthews gets the most points, and I'll say he gets 87. And then I'm going to say that the team gets 47 wins. I almost forgot to turn off injuries. That would have been unfortunate. Imagine right at, like, first game. In the preseason, too, I bet. Just my luck. Austin Matthews goes down with, like, a career-ending injury. All right, let's get this season underway here, folks. Are we going to go 0-1? Yeah, well, not exactly. 0-0-2. Oh, oh, That's a weird start. See, I never know what to expect. I'm like 1-3-2. I get so demoralized. I'm like, wow, I guess I just can't draft in this game. But then they end up having a miraculous comeback. But sometimes they don't. I, I forgot to turn off morale meetings too. You know what, Phil? I disagree. All right? I don't know what you said, but I disagree. Back to the settings we go. Okay, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna jump to any conclusions here. 2, 3, and 4. I'm not gonna do anything. Let's just see what happens. Okay? I'm not gonna make any assumptions whatsoever. That's a little early, don't you think? What a weird record. 5, 4, and 6. 6, 4, and 6. Even better. What the heck happened? I wasn't even paying attention, and I look up, and now we're, like, killing it. All right. The Penguins fired their coach as well. We are 22, 10, and 7. What a turn of events. Let's enter the trade deadline just to see who's here. Is it going to be half of my roster again? Uh, it doesn't look like it this time. Okay, so we got Freddy... Johnny Toes, Landis Cog, Ekholm, Grubauer, Tyson Berry, 
Getzlav, Yarmulsen, we got Schwartz and Hoffman. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm not making any trades, obviously, because that's not really what this whole fantasy draft thing is about. And we're also doing very well. Or at least last time I checked. Okay. Uh, Jonathan Taves and Scott Wilson, I think. I don't know. Either way, for a first and a second. Interesting. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I think we are going to go past the 47 wins that I thought. But I don't know. We could go on a drastic losing streak here after the deadline. Because that's when things kind of seem to flippity flop a, like a whole bunch. All right. Two wins out of these last two weeks. No, we, we're definitely passing 47. Which I'm not upset about. I don't care if I'm right or not. As long as the team does good, then... Gets a thumbs up from me. So we ended the season with 50 wins. That's a really great season. We finished first in the conference as well. Oh, 51 wins actually. Holy. All right. Let's have a look here. So 51, 22, and 9. Obviously first in the Atlantic and first, but I, I guess we didn't get the presidents though. No, the Ducks took that one. Okay, but we were right up there. What a good team we had. Let's go, lads. What about our individual stats? Let's see this. I know Austin Matthews put up 91. I was actually going to put him somewhere in the 90s. But based on how previous Sims went, I was like, nah, screw that 87. Should have went with it anyway. But I don't know. Phil the Thrill put up 74. Holy crap. Let's go, Phil. Bufflin put up 72. Stone with the nice amount of points. Weber 64. Olafson 63. Damn. These guys contributed quite a bit here. You absolutely love to see that. Okay, good job, guys. What about our goaltending? How'd they do? Clearly pretty good. I mean, yeah, 47, 14, and 9 with 7 shutouts, a 906, 269. DeSmith went 480, or sorry, four, yeah, 480 with a shutout, 901, and 295. So for some reason, he struggled to get wins, but his stats aren't really horrific. Let's see if Dobby actually led the league. He might have. I don't know how much Anaheim's goalie started. Okay, it was Rask. And yeah, Dobby led the league for wins. That's good stuff. Let's check forwards. And I think it should auto-sort by points. Yeah, oh. All right, we weren't even close. Not even close. Pedersen, Ovechkin, Wheeler, McKinnon, Eichel. All right, yeah. Fair enough. Time to get first rounded as per usual here, especially against Austin Matthews' former team in this simulation, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's see how things go here. We're off to a pretty hot start. Nice job, guys. All right. Can we bring out the brooms? No. No, we can't. All right. Only took five games to take out the Leafs. And now we've got the Tampa Bay Lightning. Let's continue. Come on, boys. Here we go. Oh, no. Yes. No. Yes! All right, we're in the conference finals. Here we go. Continue. The Columbus Blue Jackets. Oh, boy. Go on. Go on. No! What just happened? All right, well, Dallas wins the cup. That's brutal. Matthews put up 21 points and 11 goals in 17 playoff games. That is solid. Let's check the awards here real quick. I'm just going to kind of blast through them, see if we won anything. There we go. The Norris goes to Bufflin. That's good stuff. And do we have any other ones? It looks like... No. Okay. Whatever. It is what it is. And I guess... I, I kind of want to show you guys... Oh, I guess I could do it through stats. But I want to quickly look at Dallas's team and Columbus's team. Just to see what made them so damn good. Alright, so here's Anaheim. They had Kadri. Okay. They had Larkin, Radulov, Smith. These guys won the President's Trophy. Yeah, I mean, they're good, but... They're not... Okay, never mind. They actually are pretty good. But for some reason, a lot of them just didn't put up a whole lot of points. Who do they have in net? They gotta have a good goalie, right? Oh, they had Rask, right. Okay, 921 and a 926 for Dell? Columbus had Ovi with 107. Then they had Braden Shen with 75. So let's just go through their team real quick here. Oh, they, they got PL, PLD back. I was about to say PLB, but no, that doesn't make any sense. PLD back? Yeah, they have a, they have a pretty good team, actually. So I kind of understand. But I don't know. I still feel like our team is better, but... Who am I to judge? Goalies. Let's see. They've got Riddick with 84 overall, a 9, 11, and 266. And Laurent Brassois did not really pull his weight. The Stanley Cup winning Dallas Stars had Semyon Varlamov with a 904, 283. Their backup also had a 904, 284. So insanely close there. And then if we go to all skaters, they had Sagan. So I guess they redrafted him. They also had Patrick Kane and Joe Pavelski. They have a very good team here so far. Oh, boy. Yeah, where's all their defense, though? I guess they got Fowler there. 
Okay, they do have a very, very good team, to be fair, but I feel like their defense are slacking quite a bit. No? Actually, I guess their defense was all right. Let's check the playoff tree, and there you have it, folks. Yep, that is how it went down. I still feel like we could have taken down the Stars if we made it to the finals, but unfortunately, Columbus shocked us, and yeah. There we have it. So that was the shooting category draft for this NHL 21 kind of small series thing I'm doing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, don't forget to click that like button. It'd be greatly appreciated. Also, like more than half of you that are watching this apparently aren't subscribed. If you could do that, that'd be outstanding. I would actually greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.